Hello. I'm Priscilla Batsell. This is Spring Hill, Florida, and also Expressionist Food Art Studio Gallery. That is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. The paint I'm spreading is mead and black acrylic with some stuff in it. With the uh, Floetrol and GAC 800. I'm going to do a swipe. I've picked most of my colors in advance. I'm hoping there's enough paint from the paint I just put down and not too many more, I want to call them inclusions, interruptions, whatever, schmutz. I'm going to use some Chantilly lace and I think I'm going to use a little Decoart Americana 24 karat gold. But I am a color art affiliate so I might use some Indian spice instead. Ha! Huh. Look for a coupon code below to show more in the description under the video. And I was I thought I had a 14 by 14 inch canvas that was pre pre-painted and ready to go, but for some reason I hid it on myself. So I'm gonna throw this in the bucket. Right after I scrape it off along that edge that I can see canvas. I did my edges before before I started the video. Now I I don't know how I'm going to do this. I kind of want to go all over the place. This is Chantilly Lace. That's a prison pour. This is Rhapsody Rose, which I'm going to put on the Chantilly Lace because that way I know it will show better. Actually, I'm just going to squeeze it right out the top. Because I am tired of waiting for bottles to be open in a good way. This was uh, Crimson Lust that I added. Um, I think that I'm not sure. I think it was a prism pour, but it might have been a primary element. And I added uh, Purely Pigments Hollyberry to it. And I've got it, and uh, so I want to use it. I pulled out a bunch of greens, and I'm not sure exactly why, but maybe we'll just stick with what I've got going. This is Jasmine. That's a primary element. And now I have to decide if I'm going to put Sea Dancer in, which is also a primary element. Pull a little tab off the top. I'm contemplating using some of my Sour Lemon Prism Pour that has a little bit of Hollyberry added to it. I'm kind of liking my design as it is. <laughs> it's always, I'm always kind of sad to see it go. This is red violet and I believe I put, and that's a primary element, and I believe I put um, notes of intense fluorescent. I believe I put some golden diamonds in it. I'm taking the top off this one too. I'm being called the silver instead of gold, which is kind of weird, but I have some, not a lot. Glad I took the top off that. Before I do anything gold or silver, I'm thinking I might choose to put some orange crush in there, even though I talked about the hollyberry. The orange crush is what I want to put in instead. Now I'm probably going to put some more mead and black on below and let things tip. I just felt like tipping them. Before I go any further, I'm going to try. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. That's the 
sour lemon with holly berry. I'm not sure there's any other colors I need. I did pull out a dark water, which reminds me of peacock, and I believe it's a prison pour. If I can get it going, that's really dark. That might be pushing things. Maybe just a little. I still want something in the way of gold or silver, or even Chantilly lace. This is Mayan gold. This is usually pretty dark. I think I'm going to look for the Indian spice. Or better yet, I'm going to use the shiny taffeta, which is pale gold and beautiful when it dries. Very, um, very shiny taffeta. Feeling like I should still continue with whatever I'm inspired to con to go to, and I'm thinking that there's some blue coming up in my future. And indigo violet, no. Although I do love that color. This is blue velvet, and it's either going to be blue velvet or it's going to be some fandango or both. Maybe both. Hopefully it's not a crazy color combination. This is the Fandango. And unfortunately it's still open. Although a little bit schmutzed up. Hang on a second. I'm going to grab my tweezers. You can find these super sharp tweezers on the Amazon link. I recommend them over the alternative. They're not... If in doubt, try your teeth. Or not. I thought there was another dollop. Alright, those are interesting colors. I want more jasmine. And then I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Maybe I should just leave it. It's pretty cool right the way it is. I should take a picture. I should straighten out my turntable so I can do that. I never did add any gold, but I guess the shiny taffet is what I chose instead. All right, I'm going to tip this so the black runs in. Flip it around and see what we can drag down before I decide to use any cell activator, which is the next stage. <coughs> Excuse me. That's pretty neat. I'm going to be sorry to see that go. I've got a skinny little card and that's my intention to use that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use some white cell activator which is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam white. And right there next to it I'm going to try some black if I have any left. Wow, it doesn't seem to want to come out. It wasn't out last time I tried. Wow, I'm so close to being out. All right, I'm going to split the difference on my card. I really like those patterns. Let's see how far down we go. I'm going to wipe that off in between every time.
I think the only reason I'm getting away with all this is because the canvas is still wet. I think if I had used the dry canvas, I would have wanted to put a line of black down. Fantasy Forest. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I'm sorry, it seemed to work on a diagonal better. I'm probably going to put some spirals in. That's my MO. Glad I used the skinny card. It makes good tree trunks. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm just going to use the edge of the card and any paint residual on it. That's kind of cool. Kind of really kind of cool. I want to use the rest of the paint on this card though. I'm not sure it'll come off. I'm going to keep forcing myself. i got one more stroke to go. Wow, that did not make it all the way down. I want to steal some paint. going to add some shapes right into the shapes that are there. Kind of glad that black is in there. I like it mixing with the colors. I want to put another one over on this end, but I don't think it actually belongs there, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Except for maybe wipe my card off, grab the colors that are left, and do a partial. use any of my residuals in places that I'm inspired to put them. I kind of want to grab a straw and see what happens if I blow some of these out. I forget I can actually blow spirals into things, but I don't think that that's what I should do. Right now, I'm contemplating grabbing a skewer or something similar like a chopstick and throwing a few spirals in that way because I love spirals and no other better reason question is how many do I want to put in and where but I'm loving the way the colors are mixing it's unusual for me to put Fandango in the green but I wanted to do something with a combination of pinks and greens recently and I guess this is my warm-up I see a couple of bubbles like right there so I might try and torch really quickly I'm so close to being done I should tell you guys I have 33 playlists working on 34 actually with a hundred videos on them each 
and everything is also organized by topic and genre. So if you like something that's swipes, this is a swipe, or if something that has spiral in the title, this is going to be that also. And I really didn't tip up, but I really like what I've got. Trying to make every shape I've got copacetic, and I'm not sure that's probably something I should even be thinking about trying. But I like what I have. I don't know why I'm going to tip it, but I am. Didn't seem to hurt anything. Just blowing out my edges a little bit. I don't know why. Probably because I can. Now, if I have my phone, and I probably don't, I would shimmer this at you. But I want to steal some paint and push it over to the next tree. Cross over some branches. I mean, they're very surreal trees if they're trees at all. They're trees only because I say they are. All right, I'm going to quickly a bunny torch. I got some cells and then I pretty much erased them. Could put some stars in my sky. Hello again. So when I was done with this yesterday, before it was dry, I decided I wanted to do some things and I thought about a moon and stars. But I also digitally took the picture of it and put some grass in the bottom, so I want to do that. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to make a moon this perfect size. And I'm going to, oop, I've got, I didn't see that. I've got some paint built up on there. I think I'm just going to put paint right, where am I going to put it? <laughs> I'll probably stamp it off. I think I'm going to use my finger. Rub that in. I hope that one spot that's rough is not going to be a problem. I'm going to put a circle down. And then I'm going to blow that cat hair away. My plan was to take one of these Q-tips clean the white off. And even if I didn't, I could still put leaves over it, which is what I'm intending on doing. I've got a little piece of makeup sponge. Now I wanted a white moon, but I also wanted some Chantilly lace in there, so... Not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do something I never do, or seldom do. Use my finger before I finish up with anything else. It looks like the background, the black is going to show through. So I better get all my craters right. If I get a little moonlight on the edge of the trees, that shouldn't be a problem either, I don't think. Which is why I don't mind this other piece over here. So 
still feels a little sticky from yesterday. So I'm going to turn that around so I can clean my finger off, brush it in from the outside. Then I might put some more in and blow it around with a straw. That seems like a lot, but... Be good if I didn't pass out. Whoo! Probably not a good idea to stick my finger back in there again, but I'm doing it anyway. And I'm going to try the straw again. Hopefully, you can see something. Probably use a skewer. And I might do that right now. Oh, not that skewer. Got a big paintball on the end of it. Bring that right down to that little spot of white that's left over from the silicone lid I used. I actually like the look of craters, so I don't mind texturing the moon with a little bit of fingerprints. With a few fingerprints? <laughs> with a little bit, yeah. So I'll put my texture in and then I'll blow it one more time, and then I'll get in with the grass. That was funny. I ne I never knew that could that could happen like that, but oh well. So I just dropped the straw right on. Nothing too exact, but whatever. Pretty neat. All right, so now, since I haven't put anything, I gotta get rid of that paint on my lid, which will probably come right off if I left it to dry. I've got some Fandango. Am I done with that moon? I don't think so. Need to make sure it looks like a moon behind the trees and not just something slotted in. I could probably dip, I could probably put a little Chantilly lace into a dish and dip it in. Like so. It's a good moon. So it took me 10 minutes. Probably did too. So what I'm thinking about doing is scraping away through some green, but I've also got this, like I said, makeup sponge. And that thing under my fingernail. So I'm going to use some Fandango. Let's 
some peacock, both prison pours. I'm going to try and make little dollopy zones so I can pick up. This is deep amethyst. Not sure how any of this is going to work, but we'll figure it out together. That looks like a Purely Pigments um, Sour Apple and Vibrant Aqua Mix. Looks like a good mix. I want to try my grass first. Not even sure how this is going to work, but I had to try it. Take a little bit of the deep amethyst. Scrape right down through. That might work. probably put it all across. Well, that was a little lackadaisical. Just going to grab a little bit of everything. Knowing full well that I can usually scrape away anything and that there will be residuals from the scrapings, assumably. Let's swipe these down. So I, if I scrape up as well as down, it looks like shadows in the grass, I think. You could probably put flowers in there if you wanted to. I thought it might look a little kitschy, but I'm okay with it. Something perfect for a little girl's room, I guess. Loving my moon. I want a little more green at the bottom. In a couple places. I don't mind if the colors aren't consistent all the way across. Because honestly, why should I be? I want the heights to be different. I thought about using the basting brush, silicone basting brush, but it sounded like it was going to take a long time. And I wanted this to be quick. It's not quick no matter what. Gotta remember to swipe, to scrape up as well as down. I want a little more green in that purple area. And there, I think I'm almost done. could probably take more time than I did. I kind of want to take some of the darker purple and put it at the bottom. Make it a little dimensional. 
I gotta remember I'm expecting to use the same bunch of colors from my leaves. Yeah, I don't want anything too perfect looking, too many straight lines and it'll be weird. I like it better with the mix. More purple. Yeah, much better with the mix. All right, it's time to try the leaves. I think it's time to put that spatula down. That's a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I think that's my number one. I think I'll just fast forward through this. So if I stop talking now, that's why. Okay, so hopefully I'll fast forward it through that. And I thought I was going to put tree trunks in the background of this, but I think it's fine. And uh, I'm just going to grab a skewer with a point on it, hopefully, and use my Chantilly lace. That's not much of a point. Let's see if I can make it a little sharper. And I should tell you, I have 33 playlists with 100 videos on them each, and everything is also organized by topic and genre. Should you want access to a topic or a genre, just ask me for playlist. I've got them all handy, and I can share them with you easily. <sighs> a lot easier than you can find them on YouTube, I believe. I'm going to put some stars down below. A colorful tree wall and I like this way more than I thought I was going to which is fine I'm not going to over overkill the stars I don't think so what else should I tell you please give me a thumbs up when you watch my videos longer you tell the YouTube algorithm my channel is worth saving so I really appreciate you guys doing that when you shop my Amazon link, you help me out sometimes, and you can find my two books there and my Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula by Good Grips. Not mine, but theirs. I wish I'd gotten a commission years ago. That I'd probably be styling by now. All right, so I'm going to try and shimmer this at you. I'm going to get my phone going. And i got to remind myself there is no perfection, but if I need to fix that moon up, I will. All right, so here goes nothing. I might put a couple more stars in the bottom with a, with a fresh skewer. And I'm gonna use that paint in that dish and put it across the bottom of the canvas too, I think. All right, well, that was kind of fun. And thank you for joining me. What have I forgotten is uh, comments are welcome and encouraged. Thank you for the donations through PayPal, Patreon. And those of you who are members of my channel are saving my channel, so thank you so much. I so appreciate you guys. On my link tree, you're going to find uh, a percentage off coupon code for color art products and 10% off a coupon code for uh, pixel paint designs for Australian Floetrol and, and the like, Pebio Paints and uh, Boom Gel. On my link tree, you're going to find Instagram, uh, pixels.com, Fine Art America, uh, all kinds of interesting links. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. When you 
share my videos you help me out and uh, thumbs up is really appreciated and please 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 subscribe uh, my community board will show you tomorrow's video and i think i ought to tell you you inspire me always so thank you so much i love you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves bye for now priscilla out